darn cat. Meet Alexander Hamilton. Mischievous fat cat. He is always in the laundry basket on the table. So I decided that it means he needs a house. So uh, um, I bought a perch condo at Walmart today and I'm going to go ahead and unbox it and assemble it. Hope you enjoy. Hi, welcome to Angie B's house. I'm Angie B and as I said, I purchased a perch condo for Alexander Hamilton and I'm going to go ahead and unbox it. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Give me that thumbs up. I really greatly appreciate the, the support. So, uh, let me get this out of the way since he decided to leave. Okay, so uh, first impressions. I like that it's completely shrink-wrapped. Um, it's called the Perch Condo. It's not a very big one, but I figured it'd be good to get him started. I'll probably leave it here on the table or uh, on some other counter so he can stay away from the dogs. Uh, down here I have a little paw cut out of the box so you can see what the material looks like. Okay, so let's get it open and see what's inside. <laughs> colors here that are available but uh, we decided on the gray one actually my husband picked it out I went and got something else and he went to the get cat food and came out with this okay so the first thing you have is the little house cover here's a little hole Oh, it has a top to it, so that's nice. Okay. Have another little hoop with a toy in the middle. Okay. Package of nuts and bolts. Okay. And let's see, one, two. Three, three of these poles, and then there's another little scratching post. is wrapped in kind of like rope, but it's more straw rather than rope. I guess I call it uh, seagrass. And on the floor they go. Just a moment, I'll be right back. Okay, story of my life. Middle initials D, changed it to drop C. Instructions, hopefully they won't be too difficult to follow. And, yeah, nice fur covered. I'm guessing that's probably, no, it'd be the top so that he can have the toy to play with. This would be the bottom. I don't know what the sticker says. See if I can read it. Tag one source in your pictures and videos on Instagram for a chance to win fun cat items from one of our brands. www.osipet.com for more information. Well, maybe I'll tag them. We'll see. see. See how easy it is to put together or take apart. Okay, and then another circle. And the last thing is the actual scratching post, which I know he will really, really like. I have a little cardboard one that we got when we adopted him, and he uses that quite a bit, so I'm sure he'll really like this a lot. Okay, so let me take a moment to read the directions and then I'll get started on assembly. Okay, so I have reviewed the directions and it's just one-sided. It gives you a diagram and it tells you what pieces go where. Uh, it did include all of these 
bolts. And what I really like is kits that include the Allen wrenches that you need as well, so you don't have to go hunting for any kind of screwdrivers or such. So let's get started. Okay, um, gather all parts, which I did. Lay them out from top to bottom. Okay, so, oh, they're labeled. So I have like A, and this is, this is B, I believe. Yes. One is C. This is C. This is D. This is E. Okay. And use hardware provided to connect bases with posts as pictured. Alrighty. So, here's the post. And here's the base. I can't believe it was like this. that through. Screw it on. And this way you'll be able to see how easy one of these are, is to put, to get, to put together. Um, I was reading the directions and it did say you could purchase more of these so that you can make it taller, or if you want to replace that, you can do that as well. Okay, let me see if I can move this a little bit so you can see a little better now that it's getting taller. Okay, there, that's better. Okay, so I get the Allen wrench, and... one of these circles there's these this little hole here where a bolt screws into it so what I have to try to figure out must have to go like that but that doesn't make sense because then the screw would be on the furry part so looking at the diagram that is actually up On the picture, there's one, two, three, four holes. And here, there's one, two, three, four, five holes. It would be nice. But it doesn't make sense. It would be nice if they had more of a clearer picture so that you could see what part's furry and what part's not. But this would have to be on the inside. Bind these up together like this. That's what's not totally clear. So what I will do is I will go ahead and just get it lined up this way. And I guess we'll find out as I go. So let's 
Let's go ahead and put these back in. my battery forgot to make sure it was charged so we're at this point I was able to get this attached and I've also moved you up a little bit so you can see a little better okay so I'm on this part here next step is this right here and it does offset from the rest so that uh, you can the cat can play with this um, obviously, I have it upside down. And let's see here. Okay. There's a hole there for that. Now I just have to figure out how to go ahead and get this positioned. I think it goes like this. So let me get the correct screw. And this is the end that I was having trouble getting it screwed on, so hopefully we can get it done this time. Okay, yeah, going in just fine now. Not for sure why it wasn't the big first time. Let me get this screwed on. Okay, this I know the lighting is not quite as good as it was before because it did get dark but it appears I'm feeling here it appears there's only one hole so it gets attached with this bracket <laughs> accessories that can be added to this for playing and such. So I believe that's probably what this this other screw hole is for uh, because this which we have right here which is the last thing to attach it goes on to here I believe. Yes it goes all the way through. So, I'm going to use a washer. Not exactly the easiest thing to show you here. See how we have to get the. Well, it's kind of hard to see. You have to get the little washer here and the little screw, and you have to get it through this hole. You have to put it through that way first. I'm going to get it through this way. This has actually honestly been the hardest part about assembling this thing. Trying to get this through the hole. It feels like it's not straight. 
straight. But then this attaches, well, it's supposed to attach right here. Let's take a look at the box. Okay, so if you look at the picture, this is on this side, that's on that side. So I have to turn this. Here, what I have to the picture. Yes, that's the way that it goes. So, I'll go ahead and This has probably been the most difficult part of the whole process, which, again, not terribly difficult, but difficult nonetheless. I like the way this edge is, so I'm going to turn, yeah, I'm just going to leave it. This edge isn't finished very, uh, very well either, so we'll see how it all holds together. If he even uses this, he might stick his paws in and Bat the little ball around. No one my Maltese, she'll be playing with it too. Okay, got all the pieces together, so let's flip it over. Take off this, oops, not that thing there. Take this sticker off. Okay, and the last thing I have to do is put this cover on. Now, for whatever reason, there are two stickers here in very small print. Very difficult to see what it says. It talks about adding, that one talks about adding something. And this one, yeah, again, about adding something. So, hopefully, this should come on just fine, very easily, just by slipping this over the top. Let's move you up a little bit so you can see that. Okay. There you go. Of course you don't want to do it like I did and get the hole right in the middle of the hole. this to this part and there's no hole or anything for the screw to go through and this part is I'm afraid it's going to fall off. So I'm going to try my hardest to see if I can get this to go. But I'm going to loosen this up a little bit. Which, if they had better instructions, I would have known to do this before I attached it. Tuck this under first, and then attach this back on. That way it's underneath and hopefully won't come loose. There you have it. Impressions all in all, not too bad. Uh, hopefully he'll use it. I'll let you know what he thinks of it. And here's a little cubby hole for him to sleep. Sleep on top if he wants. I doubt he will though because it'd be too big. Uh, and then let me move you down just a bit again. So you can see the rest of it. 
and over here there's a ball it's on a, that he can bat it's on a stretch so he can you know, come out here and it'll spring back this is another ball in here the same thing stretchy he can stick his paws in here and bat it around and then you can use this as a scratching post so I think for now I'll just leave it here on the table introduce him to it and again I'll let you know what he thinks as a matter of fact, let me go get him and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Say hi, Alexander. Okay, let's put him in. See what he thinks. Well, so far so good. Give him a minute. What do you think, Alexander? Does it work? Or is it too you too big for it? Hmm? <laughs> he does fill it up pretty good. And to think he was just born in February, so he's not even a year old yet. <laughs> Trying to get comfortable. <laughs> well, he's not getting out, so I guess that's a good sign. Oh, there he is. Here he comes. Yeah, well, let's see what happens. We'll see if he'll, he'll sleep in it or not. But, again, all in all, not too difficult to put together. And, as you see, he is batting at that ball. difficult to put together and we'll see how it holds out for him. I uh, hope you like the video and if you do please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe and until next time you have a great day.